what up it's casper today's video we're gonna be talking about the movie gotti gotti is a 2018 movie it's rated r and it's an hour and 52 minutes directed by kevin Connolly. there's movies out there that when you see like a documentary or a movie about somebody that's trying to tell the life story usually when you know they succeed and are on point with their efforts to make that movie very as realistic to the viewer as possible you kind of come out of the movie saying this movie gave that story life it brought more attention to it this movie gotti was literally the opposite of it no life at all to this movie there's a video on youtube i'm pretty sure it's still up it's the 1996 gotti movie in the 1996 version the person who plays gotti is armand asante that presentation and performance as john gotti and with his fellow people in that movie all had a feel after the movie you're like whoa what did i just watch in a more of an aspect of like this is a crazy experience in watching this version of gotti 2018 is a definitely no no besides this review needs more of a isolated video to focus on many of the moments in this movie where it's just very terrible very off with the lines and even actor on actor acting starred by john travolta he's playing as Gotti, john Gotti. in this they're telling the story of john Gotti, but also telling the story about his son as well didn't seem like a movie for me the overall flow and feeling that i got from this movie was like we just show up to every scene from the intro this is why I want isolated videos so we could just focus on what we're seeing in the first minute. And the cool thing about it is like you did have John Gotti's family be a part and co-sign many of the things happening in this movie. So it's very astonishing that a lot of these efforts in this movie were co-signed by the Gotti family. In the beginning, we seen the introduction of John Travolta, the couple lines, him acting as John Gotti. That was terrible. The accent was terrible. The look on him trying to be like a boss, you can see is very obvious he's trying to do that. He's wearing some of John Gotti's actual clothes. And it's not even just the beginning scene, it's throughout the whole movie. That's the cool thing about it. They actually have real items from when John Gotti was alive and using it in this movie. In a sense, kind of feels like disrespect because like you're using his clothes, the scenes are very terrible. We're just jumping in and the acting, dude, the acting, you can see you're trying very hard. There's moments in this movie as well where John Tavolta is acting like a very old dude. He keeps going, ah, ah, every little thing. Like, it's not even like a, ah, get out of the chair. It's like he gets out of a combo, turns around. Ah. The flow in this movie, we're basically put in every scene we don't see no detail at all the environment looks very off as well we're seeing john Gotti in and out of jail the unrealistic flow of that my goodness i didn't really like that flow at all because soon as he's out he's back in the jail did not look real him being outside world did not look real there's no detail on having an overall feeling on approachment you don't see even with the sun you don't see the sun driving anywhere to show up where the whole mafia family is you don't see john Gotti being in the back of a car and driving to a destination you literally see john travolta already in a car in a parking lot and that's where we start the scene that's the vibe of this movie we're just brought into scenarios and scenes without any you know detail like no one's putting on clothes we don't see no one eating we see no don't really see like a big feast of family coming together and seeing all the food like you know it's family time movie had no feel of any mafia at all not even like a slightest bit there is a scene where john travolta's character is talking to angelo that was the only scene where i felt like people behind the scenes looking at that probably gave him the confidence of like oh this movie's gonna be a game changer Gotti is telling angelo that he has to retire and get put on the show lines for that moment which literally is only like 15 seconds was probably the best part in the movie for me it was very terrible too like there was no build up to fill that scene the look for every mafia person in here didn't even seem that believable as well the john Gotti movie that i'm recommending everybody's presence in that movie had a dawn feel had to feel like whatever their lines and they're pushing in that movie had weight this movie with the lines the other characters trying to be you know, like Sammy the Bull, Angelo, Neil, none of those characters felt like they had 
heavy weight to them. They just felt like somebody that you can order online, like Wish, and these are the characters you get. Even with the son, John Gotti's son, so terrible because later in the movie, we see how he really looked like, and then we see in the movie that this guy looks like a surfer tech dude. His character and his acting might have worked for a different movie, but this movie, they were completely off. The movie tries to be creative with real, actual John Gotti footage. I didn't like the real footage in between the movies because it didn't correlate or match with the real movie. You'll see real moments of like the news reporters from back then reporting on the John Gotti cases, maybe have an actor that's playing that reporter so that we could see the infill of that reporting. You know, we're just seeing old school footage and I guess the people behind the scenes is like, yo, there's no movies that have behind the scene footage. Just terrible placement, terrible editing. They should have left all the footage for the end of the movie so that they could show what they were trying to show with the movie but they didn't no good presentable actor in here where it's like that scene they killed it john Gotti's wife was probably the only actor in here that has some sort of emotion some sort of a direction to feel and understand a scene like i said john travolta's acting in here very off no way i would believe this guy's a mafia boss or trying to be one i did not get the feel from that at all not not even from Neo's character, not even from Angelo, not even from seeing Sammy the Bull, no understanding where these people are from. You see John Gotti's family and just expect to know who's part of the family, how many kids they have. And then with the son trying to follow his father's footsteps, we don't see no behind the scene of like a personal life. The camera direction and quality is not even a help, which sucks because it's good quality, but the movie's so trash still. They didn't even have crazy like blood or crazy shootouts with other models mafia people they're trying to show a scene in here how one of the main bosses died and i thought the way they presented that was very off the initiation of saying oh i have john i want john Gotti to lead this family that didn't even seem believable or real at all like i'm telling you these actors and placement the environment is terrible they can add small things to these environments but they don't you don't even see detail of him in the prison the prison looks like just an abandoned place and let's film the scene here there's no detail at all to see what john Gotti's character really went through there's no connection at all with the camera the acting and it's sad with the clothes design because they're using his real clothes even with the music they're trying with some classical music they would play you know probably back then but then they come through with the pit bull feel. It doesn't add no excitement, no thrill. Adds corniness. Found out this movie had a lot of different actors who were considered and even directors. Just knowing that happened behind the scenes already should let you know that there is no one confident enough besides the high beast behind the scenes to say that this movie is going to make a difference. This overall feeling of this mafia movie is not there. I don't recommend it. No feel at all of it being anything towards a biography. There's only one great movie about John Gotti and it's the one I recommended to go watch 1996 version 2018 movie lifeless after my watch watching the movie Gotti out of 10 I'm gonna have to give the movie a sorry 2 out of 10 that's my movie review for the movie Gotti shout out to you guys for tuning into the video thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one peace y'all